One of the most powerful parts of this program is the reporting that's available to you. Right now there are two, two uh, reports that you can look up, the RO completion report and the mechanic performance report. We're going to take a look at the performance report in this video. Uh, this real quickly is where you can tell your mechanics habits, what they're looking at, what they're not looking at. I'm going to pull up a report from January for you. Um, I'm going to grab three of my technicians. I'm going to look at the multi-point inspection. Let's pull up the dates of January. And we're going to color code the, the results in this report. I want anything that was referred or recommended over 40% of the time in green and anything that was recommended less than 5% in red. This is going to give us a quick look at what our employees are recommending as well as what they're not recommending. So we scroll down here in the report and what we can tell is that uh, real quick we see how many inspections each guy did, uh, what they recommended, and what they didn't. I can see that Keith did 38 inspections. His average car was a 2002 with 90,000 miles on it. He recommended three items per car. Edgar did 26 inspections. Uh, recommended five things per car and Pete had 18 inspections and recommended five items per car. One of the things that I noticed in in this report was under car the suspension components had not been recommended basically at all. We had one recommendation for about 80 cars during the month of January and this one technician had only recommended 2%. That's, that's just one item. These two technicians didn't recommend any of them. Um, so what we did is we sat down we had a lunch meeting with the techs. Uh, this was early in February when I first ran this report. And I said, look guys, this just tells me that we're not even looking at shocks. Our average car, 90,000 miles on it, is about 10 years old. And for us to not recommend but one, one item in suspension means that we're just not looking at them. So we had a little meeting. I showed the techs exactly what I wanted them to look for, uh, leaking shocks, shocks that failed a bounce test, whatever, uh, you know, whatever we look at for shocks. And we had that meeting, things went well, they understood, it was obvious to them that, that this report was showing that, uh, that they weren't looking at it. And it wasn't but uh, about a week and a half into February, my auto parts store called me and said, hey, what's going on? Did you guys just start buying shocks from us? And I said, what do you mean? He says, well, you've already sold five sets of shocks this month, and the last three, four months you've barely sold two sets. So uh, that proved to me that this, this report worked. The other thing that stood out in my mind uh, when I looked at this report was under the brake fluid level and condition, I saw that I had a problem. One of the technicians was refer uh, recommending brake fluid condition uh, or replacement 61% of the time. Well, my shop is only a couple of blocks from the beach. We do get a high moisture content in the air, but here's my averages, 26% uh, and 20 and about 20% from the other tech. So this guy just stood out like a sore thumb. So I watched what ex exactly what he was doing during an inspection. Um, I didn't tell him I was watching. I just took a look and I saw that he wasn't even looking at the brake fluid. He was recommending it based on mileage, which in my shop is no good. So he was over recommending a product. That technician no longer works for me. Um, he was he was overselling a product. So this is a quick way you can tell uh, what your technicians are selling, what they're not selling. This is a patented report. We're the only program out there that can show you this kind of.